Hi guys, uh, right now I'm going to show you how to test brake fluid in your vehicle. I've got this uh, brake fluid tester from OTC. Uh, you can get one of these either online or in any parts store. Uh, this tester tests the brake fluid for the amount of water in the fluid uh, because the brake fluid is hygroscopic. It means it attracts moisture and uh, over time it can accumulate water. Uh, when you have 3% water content in DOT3 brake fluid, it reduces the boiling point of the fluid by more than 100 degrees. So when the water in the brake fluid boils because of the heat generated by the brakes, it can lead to the brake failure. Also, high water content in the brake fluid can cause corrosion of the wheel cylinders and brake calipers, and eventually cause a leak. Uh, that is why I have this tester to check the amount of water in the fluid. So basically, the way it works is quite simple. You just take the cap off and uh, press the power button. So right now it shows you the 0% water content, which is correct because it just measures the air right now. Uh, and it will shut off after, I believe, 12 seconds. So there is a chart here. So it goes from 0%, then the measurement goes to uh, from 1 to 2%, which is still fine. If uh, the content of uh, water in your brake fluid goes over 3 or 4%, that's when you have to change it. So first I will uh, show you how it works uh, when you put it in the water, just to test the device. So you have to put inside the water and uh, press the power button so you need to give it a couple seconds you can see it has reached the maximum on the chart which is over four percent which is the correct uh, amount of water because it's 100% water right now, let's do it again. So far it works fine. Now the next step is to put it inside the brake fluid. Open the cap. Again, same idea, you have to press the power button and then insert probes halfway into the fluid. Okay, let's try it again. And one more time. Okay, so it keeps showing 0%, which is great. Which means I don't have to replace the fluid yet. Uh, the general rule, though, is to replace it every couple of years. Thanks guys for watching, hope this was helpful, see you guys later.